Hi there, welcome to Neuropod, where we share updates about the Elon Musk founded company Neuralink. The outline for this episode includes the following. Elon's comments about Neuralink's helping to address Alzheimer's and localized brain damage. We'll discuss the concept of a neural cap full skull replacement brain interface. And then we'll talk about curing depression with brain implants. After that, there's video footage of a cool Neuralink fire pit. Then I've received some messages about the status of Neuralink's FDA application and human trials. I'll talk about that at the end. In the first May update, we shared a tweet thread where Elon confirmed that Neuralink will address appetite control for the morbidly obese. Later in that same thread, Alex asked Elon, how will Neuralink address the loss of memory in the human brain? Elon responded by saying, current generation Neuralinks can help to some degree, but an advanced case of Alzheimer's often involves macro degeneration of the brain. However, Neuralink should theoretically be able to restore almost any functionality lost due to localized brain damage from stroke or injury. As Neuralink demonstrated in the Three Little Pigs demo in 2020 and the Monkey Munpong demonstration in 2021, multiple link devices can be implanted. These devices can help with target areas of the motor cortex and eventually other areas of the brain as well. In the longer term, there will probably be a neural cap that replaces a larger section of skull rather than a few coin-sized sections. Here's what Elon said on Joe Rogan's podcast a couple years ago. The fear is that eventually you're going to have to cut the whole top of someone's head off and put a new top sure. with a whole bunch of wires if you want to get you know the real turbocharged version the P100D <laughs> of of brain stimulation. I mean ultimately if you if you want to go with full AI symbiosis you'll probably want to do something like that. Symbiosis is a scary word when it comes to AI. It's optional. I've been told this is not a new concept and has been referenced in science fiction movies or TV shows. It's quite cool to see Elon and the team bringing these things to fruition, things that were previously considered impossible by some people. Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Tanaka and I wanted to interrupt this episode to share that I've started a company called Returns to help retirees do consulting work on their own schedule while designating their own wage. I think this is super important for society as a whole and for retirees individually because they've accumulated so much experience and knowledge during their careers and I want them to be able to monetize that experience in some way. On top of that, the global labor shortage is an issue that I foresee persisting for at least a decade or two more. So if you know a retiree or you yourself are a retiree or you know any recruiter at an organization who might be interested in hiring retirees, please consider signing up on our website at www.returns.com. That's R-E-T-E-R-N-S.com. It's in the description. And back to the episode. Next, we have a neat story from the MIT Technology Review that says, this woman's brain implant zaps her with electricity when it senses she's getting depressed. The story came out a while back, but I recently came across it and thought it'd be worth sharing in the context of what Neuralink can achieve down the road. A 36-year-old woman named Sarah lived with chronic depression for five years. Then in June 2020, she had an implant inserted into her skull that zaps the parts of her brain that cause her illness. She says, my depression has been kept at bay, and that's allowed me to start rebuilding a life that's worth living, Sarah said at a press conference. The article continues on to say that the team from the University of California, San Francisco, used 10 electrodes to map her brain activity. After using that data, then implanting a neuropace, Sarah began receiving electricity bursts up to 300 times per day, each lasting six seconds. Prior to implantation, Sarah scored a 36 of 54 on the Montgomery Asperg Depression Rating Scale. After just two weeks of having the implant, her score fell to 14 of 54. She says, I had a real aha moment. I felt an intensely joyous sensation and depression became a distant nightmare, she said. Crucially, it also made me realize that depression is not a personal failing, but a treatable illness. Depression is a disorder that involves activity in different parts of the brain for different people. So although this worked for Sarah, this particular process is not one that'll scale easily. The main takeaways I had from this article are that number one, Neuralink is working on implanting a device that has 1,024 electrodes. This device has 10 electrodes, 
So you can imagine if this life-altering device could help Sarah this much, Neuralink will probably help patients even more. And two, work in this field is inspiring, and I think it's so easy to overlook how truly impactful these devices can be. Next, there's a fun little Neuralink logo-shaped fire pit that was shared by Siobhan Zillis, the Director of Operations and Special Projects at Neuralink. And lastly, in the first May update, we shared a clip and tweet about Elon's timeline for FDA human trials. Upon review, I believe I misinterpreted what Elon was asked. Plus, I stated things quite goofily. So after I reviewed the clips and chat with some folks about this, I wanted to clear this all up. I believe Neuralink has not only submitted their IDE, or Investigational Device Exemption application to the FDA, but may have also received a response from the FDA already. This short clip is what Elon said on April 6th. I, I, well, we, we have um, put in our FDA application uh, uh, to have the uh, aspirationally do, do the first uh, human implant this year. Then 18 days later, Elon was asked, first trial application of Neuralink in a human by year end? And Elon responded with, yes. Despite the wording, this question seems to be asking about actual implantation not the human trial application. And this clear affirmative response is probably a result of Elon having increased confidence compared to his optimistic and less certain answer that he provided when talking to Chris Anderson of TED. So trial application submitted already and very likely actual trial implantation in a human completed prior to your end. And one more tweet from Elon where he responded to a question about the status of the Neuralink robot. Pranay asks, Elon, inserting of this Neuralink chip using V2 robot, how close to being as simple as LASIK is the procedure so far? Elon responds with, getting there. If you missed our last May update, check that out here. Thanks again for watching and hope to catch you at the next episode.